Hello, greetings to you there, Lucaria team. I see we have 16 participants invited to this yoga session. So I'll give it uh, one more minute to wait for your colleagues. Meanwhile, let me greet you, Sylvia, Eugenia, Isabella, Kevin, Matthias, Misha. I'm really glad that you found 30 minutes before your lunch break to stretch your body and uh, calm your mind. Let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Marek. I'm based in uh, Prague, Czech Republic. And uh, I'm your colleague from the language services industry. I had a chance uh, to start in the industry in 2016 when I joined Memsource. Some of you may know this translation platform. And last two years, I work with Ninzi as a solutions consultant. And uh, my personal mission since 2017 is to share benefits of yoga with others. And uh, this year I decided to share what I know about yoga as a certified instructor with my colleagues in the industry. And I'm really glad that uh, you are part of it. Just a couple of uh, recommendations before we start. All the SNS that we are going to do, we'll be doing only within pleasantness, no pain. We always go maximum 99.9% .9 in the SNS. Another one, a really important one, breathing. I'll be giving you precise instructions how to breathe. And uh, we tend to breathe through our nostrils. And the last one, I call this session meditation in motion because we are here interconnecting our breathing, body movement and the mindfulness uh, as we try and tend to be uh, with our uh, attention in our body and we observe all those sensations. I personally see yoga as a self-development discipline and uh, I wanted to thank you for uh, filling out the survey. And I'm really glad actually that uh, many of you have already experienced with yoga. And I see that there are four people already that practice regularly. That's really fantastic. Um, most of the keywords when I checked, um, when you were explaining why are you joining these yoga sessions, were about um, getting a headspace, um, well-being, um, increasing the mental energy. And uh, this, is, this is how I also see this type of session. We're going we're gonna to really work um, with our body, interconnecting our body, our mind, and uh, helping you create that headspace and well-being. Um, this is a pilot uh, of four weeks, uh, four yoga sessions. First two will be with me and another two will be with my colleague Katka. She's also based in Czech Republic uh, and also a certified yoga instructor. So that was a quick introduction at the beginning. And um, I believe that we are ready to start. So let me set up the camera. And we may sit down on a yoga mat in this position of Dandasana where we have stretched legs, stretched upper part of the body. And we bring the left foot in front of our perineum, in front of central part. And the right one in front of the left one. Perfect. Hands are on our knees. And on inhale, we pull our shoulders up. And then exhale, down, 
On inhale, shoulders up. And on exhale, down. With our left hand, we gently pull our hand to the left. We bring it back. And again, on exhale, gently pull our chin towards the armpit. We relax. And again, with our right hand, we gently pull the head to the right side. We bring it back. And again, on exhale, we pull our head gently towards the armpit. Fantastic. We relax the hand. We place our hands on the floor. Inhale. And on exhale, we raise our hips, make a settle in our spine, look up at the center of our forehead. Inhale. And on exhale, we sit down. We join our hands in front of the chest. And on inhale, we press the palms against each other. And on exhale, we relax. And we quietly say, let there be peace and love within us and the environment around us. And we try to observe these emotions. And we place our hands again on the floor. Inhale and then exhale. We slide our hands along the floor forward as far as possible. And we relax our forehead on one or two hands or fists. And if we can touch the floor with our forehead, we can interlock our fingers behind our back and raise our arms up to 90 degrees position, observing stretchings in our body. Inhale and then exhale slowly, vertebra by vertebra. We are raising our back up, head is last. Wonderful. We place our hands on our knees, palms facing up. Inhale through our nostrils. And then exhale, we are moving our arms, only arms, to the right, left arm behind our back and right arm behind our back and left arm on the knee. Uh, our shoulders in one, are in one line. We are not tilting our torso backward or forward. We inhale, and then exhale. We are moving our head to the right side, looking over the right shoulder, and extending the torsion by engaging the left arm. And we observe sensations in our back. Inhale, and then exhale. We are moving our head back to the center. Inhale and then exhale. We are bringing our hands back on our knees. Inhale and then exhale. Again, arms, we are moving to the left side. Left arm behind our back, right arm on the knee. Inhale and then exhale. We are moving our head to the left, looking over the left shoulder, extending the torsion by engaging the right arm, observing sensations in the back. Inhale and then exhale. We are moving slowly our head back. Inhale and then exhale. We are moving our hands back on the knees. Great. Now we practice yoga breathing. It has three parts. We inhale into our belly, chest, and upper part of the chest, the collarbones. First, we put our hands on belly. Our fingers are connected. And as we inhale only into our belly, we observe that fingers move apart. And then on exhale, fingers join. And on inhale, fingers move apart. And on exhale, fingers join. Wonderful. We move our hands on our chest. And again, fingers are joined. And as we inhale into our chest, fingers slightly move apart. And on exhale, they join. On inhale, they move apart. And on exhale, they join. And one last time, on inhale, fingers move apart. And on exhale, join. Wonderful. 
and the last part, upper part of the chest. We put our uh, index finger and middle finger on our collarbones, and we observe the collarbones moving up and down. We inhale into the upper part of the chest, and exhale. And again, inhale, and exhale. And one last time, inhale, collarbones went up, and then exhale, down. Wonderful. And now we join all three parts of breathing. And our arms are going to copy each third of the inhale. So we place our left hand in front of our belly and the right hand we put into the left one. We join the thumbs. We exhale completely. And we inhale into our belly and stretch our arms in front of us. Inhale into the chest, arms go sideways, and we inhale into upper part of the chest. We stretch our arms, interlock the fingers, hold our breath for a moment. And then exhale, large circle around our body, feeling the spot between our shoulder blades, holding our arms behind the back for a moment, and we relax. And again, the right hand in the left one. We exhale completely. Entire body is relaxed. And we inhale into our belly, stretch our arms in front of us. We inhale into the chest, arms go sideways. Inhale into the upper part of the chest, we stretch the arms, interlock the fingers, hold our breath for a moment. And then exhale, large circle around our body, feeling the spot between the shoulder blades and holding arms behind our back. Wonderful. And one last time. We put the hands in front of our belly, exhale completely, and we inhale into our belly, chest, and upper part of the chest. Stretch our back and arms, hold our breath, and then exhale, large circle around our body, feeling the spot between the shoulder blades, holding arms behind our back for a moment, and we relax. Wonderful. Now we place our arms behind our back and uh, we tend to connect our little fingers if possible. If not, that's completely fine. All we do with the within pleasantness. Now we inhale and then exhale. We raise our hips up as much as possible within pleasantness. Inhale, and then exhale, we lower very gently and slowly our head backward. Inhale, and then exhale, we are raising our head up. Inhale, and then exhale, we are lowering our hips back on the floor. And one last time, if it feels comfortable, we inhale, and then exhale, we are raising our pelvic up. Inhale, and then exhale. We're lowering our head backward. Inhale and then exhale, raising our head up. Inhale and then exhale, sitting down back on the floor. Wonderful. We relax our arms. We can stretch our legs and lean on our forearms. And because during the day when we walk, we don't really Pay attention to the sensations in our legs. Let's try to close our eyes, if possible, and observe sensations in our toes. We inhale and pull the toes toward us. And then exhale, away from us. On inhale, toward us. And then exhale, away from us. We are breathing through the nostrils. And now the whole ankles. On inhale, toward us. And then exhale away from us. On inhale toward us. And then exhale away from us. Wonderful. And we do the circles with ankles. On inhale toward us. On exhale away from us. On inhale toward us. On exhale away from us. And we swap the direction. On inhale toward us. And then exhale away from us. On inhale toward us. On exhale away from us. And as if we would want to clap with our 
feet soles. We inhale and join the feet soles. And on exhale, we open them up. On inhale, we join them. And on exhale, we open them up. And one last time, on inhale, we join them. And on exhale, open them up. Wonderful. We do the position of crocodile. We place our right foot on top of the left one. And we do the torsions, we inhale. And on exhale, we move the feet to the left. If we can, we touch the floor. And on inhale, we bring them up. Inhale and on exhale, feet to the right, both touching the floor. And on inhale, up. Wonderful. And we swap the legs, left foot on top of the right one. And again, we inhale and then exhale. We move the feet to the right side. If possible, we touch the floor. On inhale, up. Inhale and then exhale, feet to the left, touching the floor if possible. And then inhale, up. Perfect. We relax the legs and we can relax completely our body on the floor. We raise our legs, bend the knees and hold the knees. We inhale and then exhale. We let the knees fall to the right and we turn head to the left. On inhale, knees and head up. And then exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. And then inhale, up. And once again, on exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. On inhale, up. And on exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. And on inhale, up. Wonderful. That was energy balancing. Now we hold our knees. We inhale. And on exhale, we are raising our head up, directing the chin towards the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. We are not pulling them up, keeping them relaxed. And we imagine we are in golden egg, surrounded by golden color. We inhale this color. And we feel peace, strength, and faith in myself. You can say quietly, I feel peace, strength, and faith in myself. And we observe these emotions. We inhale and then exhale, relax our head on the floor, raise the legs up to 90 degrees position. We place our hands in between our thighs from the inner side. And we stretch our legs to the sides. And again, on inhale, we pull the Angles toward us and then exhale away from us. On inhale, toward us and then exhale away from us. And one last time, inhale toward us and then exhale away from us. Fantastic. And we place our hands from the outer side of the thighs, join the legs again in the 90 degrees position. And we inhale and then exhale, we raise our back up to 45 degrees position with the floor and lower our legs to 45 degrees position with the floor. Toes are in the same level, in the level of our eyes. We can put our arms horizontally with the floor and we observe a little trembling in the body in this position of boat or Navasana. We stay, observe, inhale and exhale. We bend the legs. We're not touching the floor. And slowly, vertebra by vertebra, we are bringing our back on the floor. Great. And again, energy balancing. Inhale and exhale. We let the knees fall to the right, head to the left. On inhale, up. And then exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. And then inhale, up. Great. Now, energy centering. We are still holding our knees and we pull the knees toward our chest and let them go. We pull and let go, massaging our back and centering energy into Sushumna Nadi in our spine.
spine, the main energy channel in our body. Wonderful. We can put our feet on the floor. Knees are still bent. And we stretch our arms to the sides. We inhale. And then exhale. We let the knees fall to the right and turn head to the left. Left knee may touch the right foot. Inhale and exhale. Knees up. Inhale and exhale. Knees to the left side. We let them fall toward the ground and head to the right. And again, right knee may be touching the left foot. Inhale and then exhale. We bring the knees up. Fantastic. Now we stretch our legs, relax them. Our arms are along our body, palms facing down. And we get ready for the position of uh, Matsyendrasana, fish. We sit on our hands. Elbows are close to our body. We inhale, and then exhale. We raise our torso up. The weight is on our elbows. Again, on inhale, we open up our chest even more if we can. And then exhale, slowly we're rolling our hand backward. Inhale, and then exhale, we are sliding our elbows to the sides so that we can gently touch the floor with the top of our head very gently. The weight is still on the elbows and our chest is open and we may feel open to love, life and other people. You can say quietly, I am open to love, life and other people. Inhale and exhale, we raise our head up Inhale and then exhale. We slide our elbows even more to the sides and relax our body. Palms facing up. And we imagine a white sparkling light is entering our feet. And it goes, this light goes through our entire legs and upper part of the body to the top of the head. And this light is renewing every single cell in our body. And then exhale, all the tiredness leaves through the floor. Now we inhale and roll our arms along the floor up above our head. We interlock the fingers and again we inhale and stretch our body as if we were stretching a rope. And on the exhale, we relax. And on inhale, we start raising our arms up to 90 degrees position. And from there, we start exhaling and lowering our arms toward our thighs. We are raising our back and bending our legs. And we hug ourselves from below the thighs. We bring our belly as close as possible to our thighs, relax our forehead on the knees. And we imagine we are hugging ourselves as if we are hugging a dearest person. And we quietly say, I love my body. I love each and every cell of my body. And we experience these emotions. Inhale and then exhale, we are sliding slowly, the feet along the floor, still in the hug. And when our legs are almost stretched, we relax our arms, hold our feet, ankles, or calves, however far we can reach. And on each exhale, we tend to bring our forehead closer to the knees. All we do, we do within pleasantness, no pain here. Inhale and then exhale. We're sliding our hands from feet through the knees, thighs. We start. We are lying down, still exhaling and raising our arms up to 90 degrees. And from there, we start inhaling as we are moving arms toward the ground. Wonderful. And we bring our arms along the body again. And we bend one of the knees, hold the knee, inhale. And on exhale, we press the knee against the palms and we raise ourselves up. We bend the leg. Sit on the heel, bend another leg, sit on another heel. 
our last position today. We raise our arms up above the head, straight, interlock the fingers, inhale, and on exhale, we raise ourselves up on the knees. Inhale, and on exhale, we sit to the right side. Inhale, and on exhale, we go up as if somebody would be pulling us with the rope. Inhale, and on exhale, we sit to the left side. Inhale, and on exhale, up. Inhale, and then exhale to the right. Inhale, and then exhale up. Inhale, and then exhale to the left. Inhale, and then exhale up. Inhale, and then exhale. Large circle around our body, feeling the shoulder blades or the spot between the shoulder blades, and we sit down back on the heels. And we can actually move the heels a little more to the sides and try to bring our bottom muscles toward the ground. And we observe stretching in our thighs. Wonderful. And um, I know that uh, we have the last three minutes. Um, I took five minutes at the beginning to introduce myself. Um, so if you don't mind, I have already, um, I have a seven minutes uh, final relaxation for those of you who still have five more minutes extra to spend with me. And uh, for those who uh, really need to go, then I thank you very much for your time. Um, but the, the final relaxation is really um, going to signify or make the experience of the yoga session even greater. Um, so let me start the final relaxation. We can completely relax our body on the floor. We let the feet fall to the sides, palms are facing up. And we start with series of breathings. We take a deep breath, the yoga breath, into our belly, chest, and upper part of the chest. We hold the breath and tense all the muscles from feet to the forehead. And on exhale, we relax the body. And again, we inhale. Hold the breath and tense all the muscles. And on exhale, we relax. And one last time, we inhale, hold the breath, tense the muscles. And then exhale, we relax. We are allowing the fresh blood with oxygen to come to our muscles. One more series of breathings. We inhale. And exhale loudly. We let everything go, all the troubles or plans or problems. Again, inhale. And then exhale. One last time. Inhale. And then exhale. And we imagine our body is lying down on the beach. The white hot scent is warming up our body from below. And above us, warm golden sun is shining. And a warm golden sun ray is falling on our right thumb our right hand, renewing every single cell of the thumb. We may even feel the cells vibrating, enjoying this, this warmth and light. Golden sun ray shines on our index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. All the fingers are warmed and renewed. 
golden sun ray shines on our palm and back of the hand and continues through the wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm to shoulder. Golden sun ray shines into our armpit and continues along the right side of the body through the right hip, renewing the right thigh, right knee, calf, ankle, heel, foot, and toes. Now we feel that the entire right side of the body is warmed and renewed. Golden sun ray shines on our left thumb or the left hand. Every single cell is renewed and we may even feel the cells vibrating. And golden sun ray shines on our index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the little finger. All the fingers are now warm and renewed. Golden sun ray shines on the palm and back of the hand and continues shining on the wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm and shoulder. Golden sun ray shines on our left armpit, continues along the left side of the body through the left hip. Renewing the left thigh, knee, calf, ankle, left heel, foot, and finally toes. And now we feel that our entire body is warm and renewed. And every single cell is enjoying this warmth and golden light. And we observe these sensations for a moment. Now we can move slowly our fingers, our toes. And you see, we are waking up, we can stretch our body. And if we want, we can still turn to one of the sides and relax for a moment. If we are ready, can slowly come back and sit in the original position of Tandasana with stretched legs. And we grab the left foot, bring it in front of our perineum. Take the right foot and bring it in front of the left one. We join the palms in front of our chest. We smile if we can or because we can, we thank ourselves for these 30 minutes we were able to spend with ourselves. And we quietly say, let every peace and laugh within us and the environment around us. Namaste. Thank you so very much, dear Locaria team for your presence. Um, and uh, I very much enjoyed this session. I hope you too. If you have any uh, particular feedback, please send me a message via uh, email or connect with me via LinkedIn. And um, also uh, I'm available for any consultancy session uh, for any questions uh, if you wanna uh, chat in person. Um, Thank you so very much. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy the rest of the day. And I look forward to next Thursday. 
Have a good one.